Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Morning Hustles. A dude who's been in the business for a long time. He's made a lot of stars, and he's trying to make a star out of one of y'all, man. Represent 300 Entertainment. Yo, Kevin Lyles is in the building. What up, my brother? Yeah, what up, what up, what up, what up, Joey? How y'all doing, man? It's a blast, man. It's uh, I'm the Morning Hustle. Y'all down at ATL, my, my, my third home. I don't know if it's uh, sometimes my second home, but uh, I just love the fact. <laughs> Uh, that you guys are, are there doing what you do, man. And thanks for having me. Yo, thanks for pulling up, man. Yo, listen, yo, we're living in some really interesting times, um, you know, and I feel like a lot of times with the hip hop and the culture, the music hasn't always reflected what was truly going on in the streets. And you're starting to see a lot of people change it up and really, you know, you know, speak out. And we're trying to find that next person who has something to say that needs to be heard. Well, you, you know, man, you, you, you talk about special songs and, and I, I just think we go through um, evolutions as, as music. And um, sometimes you need, you know, poets like uh, James Brown, you know, and Marvin Gaye uh, right. um, to, to make those things. And then you need Little Baby to talk about the bigger picture. And, and you need, you know, T. Grizzly to say Mr. Officer or Trey, how many times? You know, one of the things that hip hop always really does, it might not do it as much as some activists wanted to do or or some people wanted to do, but we will always be the voice of what's happening in, in the streets. And to be, to be honest with you, um, it, it wasn't until social media, and this will go back to, to Rodney King, it wasn't until social media was in, involved that now the revolution is gonna be televised, whether good or bad, every day. And so you'll see more artists uh, become inspired, uh, get in touch with their true self. And some artists, you gotta realize the new street is the internet. So some artists, you, and, and you can't, you don't get the same emotion that you get when you're out in the street uh, and, and seeing what's happening to our, to our people. So, you know, that, that song, and whether it's rap, uh, whether it's r and I, I don't care what language is in, uh, I just want that special song that makes you feel uh, a, a certain way, that gets you proud of, of who you are, uh, proud of, of the people, and more importantly, get, your, get, get yourself off the couch and get out there and do something, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now, how big of an impact do you think that artists have on the culture nowadays? Because it does seem as though, like, even though we have activists and leaders that are out speaking, it seems like a lot of people are going towards entertainers to kind of give them that uplift or to listen to. Do you think that's dangerous or do you think that's something we should embrace? Um, we've done more for race relations than any program you have uh, that's been instituted by any administration. Uh, and what I mean by that is you go to any uh, um, uh, place, see me, you know, and you see, uh, you hear hip hop music, you see black, white, green, purple, all kinds of people, all loving and living in a certain way uh, around their love for music. So I, I think we've got from Harry Belafonte to, to now, we've always uh, had a role, but uh, in, in the words of, of, of Reverend Al and uh, let's say uh, my, my guy, um, uh, Warnock uh, down uh, um, in, uh, in Atlanta, who's running for the Senate, that's right, my guy. Um, you know, everybody got their position to play. You know what I mean? And so, you know, I, I, don't, I don't do what Rev does. You know, I, I, I don't do what Cory Booker does. I, that's not what I do. And they don't do what I do. And, right. and we shouldn't hold artists to, you know, they do what they do. They should use their music, use their audience to influence uh, for a greater good, greater God. But we shouldn't, uh, shouldn't hold them to be an activist and we shouldn't hold the uh, activists to being entertainers. I think this is a collection of, of people make things happen. Now, Kev, this has always been like, you know, there's people who like who will say, hey, listen, you know, there needs to be more artists making songs that, you know, inspire change and inspire certain but they've always been there. And it seems like they haven't always like got the same report or support rather that some of these other artists got, you know what I mean? Like even with Kendrick Lamar, I feel like his songs that are truly radical and have something to say, those don't get as bigged up as pour up drink and things like that. You know what I mean? Like it's going to be all right. Should have been like a Negro anthem. Uh, and then you even still got guys out there that are spitting at a high level, like, you know, the Talib Kweli's of the world, the, uh, uh, you know, the most deaths, the dead presence, you know, still cooking. You know, why do you think there's been that connect between the mainstream or the disconnect rather between the mainstream and the people who have like content? Uh, because uh, I think everything is not meant for everybody. And I think when James Brown says, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud, it meant a certain thing to a certain people. And mm -hmm. no matter, you know, whether it's commercial, or, I mean, you know, think about um, some people didn't want to hear NWA, uh, NWA say after police. 
That's that's the direct. And again, these were hood anthems to us. You know what right. I mean? But they weren't mainstream anthems. They were hood anthems, and it, it spoke to us and talked to us. And you know, you, you look at you know, is is a, a little bit little baby's the bigger picture? Is that record mainstream, or is that speaking culturally to us? You can say, well, we playing it on radio, the whole. But no, mainstream is 120 million in audience. Mainstream is selling 10 million. You know, it, it ain't trap queen. So so just be, just because something a song doesn't what's going on didn't speak to everybody. Mm. You got you, you you guys might think you might you, you might think it, it think it did because of nostalgia and the whole thing, but it just didn't. You know what I mean? It, it, it's even when when uh, um Mandela I think it was called Bring Him Home or Bring Him Back Home or whatever. What, it just wasn't meant for it, it the, to a, somebody that's in Africa. It meant a certain it, South South Africa it meant a certain thing to them. So I can't, uh, uh, again, I know what a song means to me. And I know what the little baby record uh, meant to me when I heard it. I know when Trey sent me the How Many Times record, I said, oh, my, my, my I, I, I didn't even know what to do because it spoke to me. <laughs> right. you know I mean? so, so I'm saying to you, let, let's, let's, let's make, not get it twisted about mainstream. But I, don't, I don't care if it sells one record or a hundred. If it makes me feel a certain way, that record is a record. That, that's, that, that's that song that we're looking for. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now, when you look at artists that you potentially would want to develop or work with outside of just musical talent, what is the most important trait in today's climate that you feel like an artist needs to have to really push through to, to for you to feel like, hey, this is a person that I see myself or I see us putting a lot of energy into? Because I think that's changed a little bit in my opinion. So I'm curious to see from you. Well, listen, you, you, you know about me. I, I, I Very few artists I get into for a song. My, you know, I, I get into the art of it. You know, I get into, uh, I want things that I could put into the Smithsonian Institute, not, 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 not hustle on a corner. You know what I mean? That like these, these things, and they, they don't come all the time. So the business model has to be uh, all different kinds of things. And I'll give you an example. You know, T Grizzly's first day out, when I heard it, it made me feel a certain way. Then when I met him, I said, oh, he a real one. Okay, I, it's a, <laughs> it's something else about, about that. When they were, were going around with Little Baby before he, he signed with, with my friends at, at, at QC, you just felt different about him. You know mm. what I mean? You felt different about, you know, Jeezy. Yeah, I, I, you felt different uh, um, uh, about Kendrick. You know, I mean? you feel, you know, listen, people can say what they want to say, uh, but you feel different uh, 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 about Wayne and you feel different uh, uh, about Drake to me, and you feel different. Uh, uh, the difference between uh, a, a, a Chris Brown, a, a Trey Songs, and, and uh, um, Summer Walker. You, you, it, it feels different. different feelings. You know, it, it feels different. And you know, so to me, I'm just looking for something that when, when you walk into a room, uh, before they even open up their mouth, you know, it's something special about that person. Mm. You know what I mean? And then when you hear that music. And then I, again, I'm talking about a body of work. So I'm also talking about um, a, not just a particular record. I, you, I, I take it through one that I'm so proud of, Young Thug. You know, Thug has always been something special. And through iterations of things uh, of him coming, he eventually did, discovered, oh, this is the truth and my, my point. And he created records that now uh, go around the world, but it took them a time to get there. You know, right. Migos took them time to, to get before they made Bad and Bougie. So why shouldn't we allow the artist development of something that you see? But I, I made mistakes before, but uh, again, I'm, I'm about uh, artistry and the art of it, not just finding the hot song. Now, earlier you spoke on Trey songs, and I would say during these times, a lot of people are like breaking out of their shell and actually really speaking out for their people because of the situations that are going on. Now, uh, what would you say is one song you may have heard of all these anthems that like have really moved the culture? What would be one of your favorite songs out of all of the songs that have dropped over the years? It depends how far you want to go back. We I, can I, go I, back I, now. All the way back. <laughs> back in no, the I, time. <laughs> back you know, in the time. When I heard uh, NWA's After Police, uh, when I heard Public Enemies fight the power, mm. you know what I mean. Uh, when I heard LL Cool J's illegal searching, mm. you know what I mean. When I when I, I sit and and you listen to Jesus say, "My president is black," you know what I mean. When you sit and you 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 think about, um, you know Marvin Gaye, just like you know James Brown, a black and a, a it's like 
there's so many of them. So to say there's one, and then you then you go right here and you you, you talk about the uh, Mr. Officer about T, the, the uh, um, trace how many times and little babies you know big picture you know bigger picture. How can you distinguish? Because they all were made for a purpose, right? And they all were made uh, um, to inspire what came from that particular artist at that time. So I, I can't. I know when I'm young, Kev. Y'all got to come collect Cool Cab right now. When After Police came out and Fight the Power and Flavor Flavors or Nine One One the Joke, oh, I felt a certain way. Yeah, I felt. I, I felt. Man, I'm, I'm like this. I'm going like this. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm out in the streets. You know what I mean? I, I want to grow an afro and do everything <laughs> that, that. that I had to do. And and now I want to take responsibility as a leader and a father uh, um, and a, a CEO to say that I too have a, a role to play in, in, in a mission for equality and civil rights. And uh, don't think, Kev, is like all those songs you mentioned were revolutionary in their own way and none of them were corny and everything exactly. was indicative of the artist styles. Like, you know, Illegal Search at the time, if you know your Def Jam and LL Cool J history, that was a stretch for L. You know what I mean? And it still lands and it means just as much today as it did back then. Same thing with Now One Was a Joke, same thing with F the Police. So here we are, 2020. We're looking to do something big with, a, with an artist. All right, let's roll it all out. What do they get if they deliver the song? And, you know, first off, uh, I, I do this a couple of times a year. I find great partners uh, like you guys in Morning Hustle and Radio One. Uh, and I'm going to actually put their record out. You know, I don't know if you guys remember I did the Freestyle 50 uh, challenge and um, I gave people money and the whole mm -hmm. thing. And so I think we're, we're, we're giving this uh, compensation for them. Um, I'm going to actually uh, put it, distribute it, market it, you know, for them, uh, along with all of the other artists uh, that, that we're doing. And um, I'm sure there's some behind the scenes things that I, I as we go along, I, I want to keep people guessing about the things that I'm going to do. But I want to bring them to New York. I want to have the Kevin Lyles lifestyle and uh, also want to inspi inspire them uh, to inspire other artists. And like I said, this could be uh, an artist that uh, just plays the cello. You know, this, that, I don't want to limit it uh, clarinet. I don't want to limit it to anything. I just want to feel, feel a certain way. So uh, there's so much that you could do uh, um, uh, hip hop that, that, that uh, um, could give an artist, but, but the artist giving up themselves and them making something special uh, is what I'm looking for and what I want to support with, with, with all hands on deck. Very dope. Now, you can start submitting the songs today via the Morning Hustle Show website, as well as the local radio station websites. It could be a song, it could be a rap, it could be somebody playing a cello, harmonica, piccolo, kazoo, whatever. Like my man Kevin Lyles just said, uh, gotta be original, no samples. All songs will be judged by a diverse panel of radio and recording industry personnel, and all songs will be joined by, uh, judged by this criteria. The message, the originality, the quality, and the composition, and you gotta document yourself in the uh, recording process too just to show that you actually did the song and this wasn't like ghost written we ain't trying to do milli vanilli yeah, don't, yeah, steal the song. Say, don't, don't do that don't, don't, do don't that. steal the song there's somebody out there plot on it right now i know it's so we can go go with i, I got one this is so big though i think that this is going to be amazing this is going to be great and i know that we're going to find a lot of great talent and i'm guaranteed that we're going to have that next song that's going to take over you know, you know what's, what's so great about it, number one, uh, that uh, it's friends coming together as friends, using their collective powers, 300 and Radio One and the Morning Hustle, saying, uh, let's always think about the greater good and greater God and, and use our platforms to allow people to create. You don't know what's going to come from this, but uh, I, I can only tell you, uh, you know, when, you know, traveling around the world, listening uh, to you guys uh, and listening to artists and listening to individuals, um, you give up yourself every day. Those four hours, you, you're on, and people, and people don't understand the problems that you got in the background. So you're giving up yourself, you know, every day. And when, when one of the twin powers have come together and activate, we want to inspire that next uh, person, that next creator to make something so special that we're not just listening to it, we feel it. And so I, I, I applaud you guys for the opportunity um, shout out to you know all the all the radio stations uh, around the country, but especially my friends at, at the Morning Hustle. You guys, you guys know I've known each of you guys for probably ten or more years. 
I don't want to. I want to go back to hit crack that. I, I, I don't. I don't. I, I don't know. He might be fifty like me, so I don't know how far. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I was a lot of places I wasn't supposed to be. Yes, I met you when I was ten, ten years ago. Look, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 listen. I I, I want to say something especially uh, to you, uh, and I know it's not a full interview. We talking about the song, but I, I have to say this. Um, please uh, be the, the loving person that you are, and and to my guy friends uh please protect her by any means necessary um i said this today on my a two minute take that um sometimes we we forget the the the, the power of a woman the woman is a, a protector too a right. protector of your emotions you know protector of of the home you know what i mean and, and sometimes we forget the dual job that they play and you know my girls cardi and meg got hell all hell over for right. saying how they felt uh, but they were they were just communicating where they are, who they are, what they are, and I just want you to not one day, Laurel, not one day, think that you're not a queen, not think that you're not meant to be, and think that you have a purpose, uh, and even a greater purpose than what you do every day, because God woke you up today and said it's another day for us to go get at it. So I wanted to make sure I, it was on my Thank mind. You, I had to say it. Thank you, That's so great, much. Kevin. I hey, hey, that that's a dope. Lot. Hey. <laughs> we gonna protect you, L'Oreal, and you, we gotta need you to protect us too. So you know. I don't trust them. I gotta got find some other people to protect me. <laughs> Thank you so much for pulling up, Mr. Lyles. If you're nasty, also got to mention that the winner of this contest is also going to receive five thousand dollars distribution of all digital service providers. Ooh. An appearance on three hundred. Yo, Kevin Lyles, you're creating an amazing opportunity. Now I need all those wolves and wolfettes to get to it. Let's make the song and let's make history, man. One time, y'all, Kevin Lyles. Yeah. Good morning, yeah. Good morning, hustle. Good morning, hustle. We are the morning hustle.